everyone, welcome to Food Review UK and another edition of Spread It. This is the first curd that I think we're doing on Spread It. This is Marks and Spencer Rhubarb and Custard Curd, a smooth, tangy and glossy curd full of iconic British flavour from British rhubarb juice. Now, I must confess that the last rhubarb and custard flavour product that I tried from Marks and Spencer's, that the last rhubarb and custard product we tried from M&S was not very good. It was the ice cream, didn't review it. Rhubarb and custard ice cream. Didn't, flat out didn't like it. Uh, it was vanilla flavour ice cream and rhubarb ice cream. And the vanilla flavour ice cream was fine, nothing special. And the rhubarb ice cream was all right. It wasn't really rhubarb and custard because rhubarb and custard has a distinctive sweet and fragrant flavour and it's key that the that both are represented rather than two separate units that were only a little bit of each and uh, ice creams, frozen custard or whatever but it didn't, still didn't taste like it right I've dropped the lid <sighs> smells interesting what do I do with it after I've opened it? fridge? Or store in a cool dry place away from dry once opened keep refrigerated consume within three weeks oh it's quite thick See that? This, this. I'm sort of hoping this is going to be like the Miller and Carter dessert, which comes with a rose and rhubarb uh, sort of puree thing, which is basically looks like a curd. Here we go. Here is pudding. This is a rose and rhubarb curd, lemon clotted cream posset on a crumbly biscuit base, fresh berries, and a strawberry and prosecco sorbet. Yeah. Nice, Claire. Mm -hmm. Put inside a shop <laughs> until after Christmas, and you take me to bloody Tesco. Claire says she's not stepping foot inside a shop. And then you decide to come to Tesco. Well, you know, so. Uh, let's give it a go, guys. Mmm. Wow. That is. That is nice. It's slightly tangy. It's quite, um. Well, slightly. What's the word? Gra grainy but only slightly. It's sort of smooth and grainy at the same time, if you know what I mean. Eating it on its own, you can sort of taste the egg a bit more. Because curd is made with egg. It's got 20% egg in. So that does come through a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But, it's a lot more rhubarb and custardy than the than the ice cream. Um, the custard's not hugely there, but it's sweet, sort of creamy, and also tangy because of the rhubarb, and then the rhubarb flavour itself. Is there... Again, not super strong, but it is, it is, it is there and it's, it's obvious what it is. Mmm. That's weirdly enjoyable though. Well, I did think I'd like it, but almost like a dessert. Wow. I quite like that. It's weird. Oh, that's funny. It's got a dried custard base in it, so they have actually gone to the effort of putting custard flavouring into it. Mmm. Shit, man. This is really good. I need to think of something to use it in. Like, um... I don't know man, what can I use this in? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, it's, it's slightly weird, but really nice. I know I'm making this weird expression, I think it's just because it's a little bit tangy, but really weirdly Moorish. Looks amazing as well. I just really want to use it in something, and I don't know what. That's a high four stars though. Oh. I think I just heard Claire scream. Probably a spider. Thanks for watching this edition of Spread It, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and if you want to see what else I get up to on a daily basis, or, or like, to, you know, things that I do, vlog channel, Life Michael Jameson. Very, very good. We've been to lots and lots of theme parks recently. So if you like theme park vlogs, check it out. Thank you. Goodbye. Text your like, son.